Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is again about um, such printable textures, so a knitted version here. Um, and this is a wire UV map, and so this is a workflow video. So, okay. So, maybe such a guy here. So, sorry. Okay. Most things are for such knitted textures are such simple objects here or such a snowman and okay. So let's start with this. So I delete here everything. <clears throat> so as I said here, use this checkbox UVs here and then use for the snowman the UV sphere. So like this. Okay, so the next thing is here check the inspector, the map is clear, this is what we want and now place the opacity map. So I use this knitted uh, one and so at the moment here, here use textures. So you see here in the shading menu, so <clears throat> there's um, a checkbox for the textures or yeah, an icon. You can also use this here, um, so add shortcuts. Um, so here you see bindings and um, there's also one, where is it? Uh, matcap here this one use textures and this is here at the bottom menu my use textures menu and you see here when you press this here it does the same here in this menu okay <clears throat> so let's change the scaling So maybe this is the size we want. And I type in here maybe 30. And we can also uh, stretch it a little bit or maybe like this here. So this is our knitted texture when we apply it. Okay, so at the moment I don't want to see it, so I hide this texture. So we see here we have one sphere, a second one for the alley and another one <coughs> here or this could be a sphere and this one. So I clone this one. So maybe like this. I clone it again. So I change the pivot position a little bit. And the last one. Maybe here. <coughs> okay. And here for this object, we can use um, 
add a torus. A torus works also nice, I think. So check the torus and check the inspector. This is also a, a square UV map. And it should also work. So So for this torus, we have to apply the, um, the opacity map. So again, this knitted one, and we have to check the scaling. like this. So and I clone this Okay, I think you get the workflow. And so for all these primitives here, so maybe I start with this, so I validate this one. And now I increase the poly count, so the multi resolution, so I subdivide it up to maybe a million. So then here for the reprojection, use only opacity to mask thing and reproject from itself. Here use the inflate. And clear the mask. So then the next one here we can validate, then multi-resolution subdivided and reproject. And clear the mask. Next one, validate multi resolution. Reproject. So you see the different texture sizes, this is the scaling. So you have to change the scaling a little bit, but um, yeah, it's only for demonstration. So, and so this one, validate multi-resolution. Clear. So maybe we change here the scaling a little bit.
forgotten multi resolution. Clear the mask. And this one, we change also the scaling. Maybe only eight. And this, so on. I think this is okay. So then multi-resolution validate, always the same. So the textures we don't need anymore and so at the end you can use the select tool here, select everything and then try a voxel remesh to, to change here or to weld all together. So a, high, a higher voxel remesh. Let's test this. Takes a few seconds. So here is a texture. Um, I think now we have to paint it. So opacity 100%, paint all, and then the opacity is gone. So this is what you get. So, yeah. So this was only a demonstration for our workflow with this knitted uh, textures uh, with the UV maps. So when you need um, um, those things here, you use an our um, um, a tube. So use the tube here and place place these things and use a profile maybe. So don't forget here to deactivate the caps here so that the, the texture is applied um, along the tube and then again use your knitted texture. think it's fine. So we have to validate this thing, close the holes, increase the poly count. And reproject the mask. So I go back in, in the complete view and where is it here? Inflate the whole thing. So now we clear the mask. Okay, 
I think you get it. So... Oh, we, <laughs> yeah, we walk through, we meshed the whole thing. So now painting works for the whole uh, snowman. So I like this guy um, and I add a sphere. To give him eyes. And he needs a nose. to put it out of the repeater. So Yeah, okay. It's not the best snowman, but um, yeah, it looks like a snowman. So I turn off the outline and yeah. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting and ciao.